Hallelujah. We're blessed to be in the Lord's house tonight. Um, we welcome you in the name of Jesus. And before we do anything, I'd like you to stop, drop whatever you're doing. Let's lift our hands in praise to the Lord and give him a wave offering. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We honor you in this place tonight, Father, and we thank you for the wonderful privilege we have in sharing what is on your heart and what you desire for your people to hear. We give you all the praise. We give you all the honor, all the glory. Have your way in this place. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Well, we're blessed to be here, and I'll say it forever. There's not a better place to be than in the house of the Lord. And even though the church doors might be closed right now, you're the church, and you're not closed. You're open. You can minister to people on the phone, you're in your house, um, on social media, whatever avenue you have. You are open and you can minister about Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, today, the Lord has been so good. The Lord is always so good. And the Lord put upon my heart about perfect love. Hallelujah. So let's go to 1 John 4.18. Amen. And we're going to talk about the perfect love. Not the, perf not the perfect love of a human, not the perfect love of a parent, but the perfect love of God, who is our Heavenly Father. Hallelujah. So let's go to 1 John chapter 4 and verse 18. Such love has no fear, because perfect love expels all fear. Hallelujah. Perfect love casts out all fear. And I believe it's such a wonderful word because what we are going through now in this time in the world, we've never seen anything like it. Um, none of us have seen, has ever seen anything like it. And we don't even know how to um, think about it. We don't know how to handle it. We don't know what is coming next. But what we do know is that God is able and we serve a faithful God. Our, our Father in heaven is faithful. Hallelujah. So God's perfect love expels all fear. That means it takes away all fear. And, and it casts out all fear. And it removes all fear. And that's where we need to be seated in God's perfect love. Amen. During this time, we've been shut in our homes. We cannot be with the ones that we love. We cannot go to the places that we normally go to. Um, and, and we need to be very careful that we're not listening to all of the negativity that is around. Um, if you watch the news too much, you will start allowing the negativity to come into your mind. And that can get us into an area where we're not, um, where where we are not trusting God because we allow all of these things around us to shake us. And see, God's perfect love will cast out all of that fear. And what, you know, we, we don't understand what's going on. We don't, we cannot, we can't fix it. Um, but we know somebody who can. We know the Lord is able to do all things. So if we trust in him and in his perfect love his perfect love is um, him loving us beyond measure his perfect love is that he won't let anything happen to us his perfect love is uh, allowing us to remember and to think that all this these things that are around us they don't control us amen and so his perfect love will keep us in a place of trusting him and having faith knowing that no matter what's going on all around us our Father has us in the palm of his hand. He will take care of us. His word says that he will never leave us. He will never forsake us. His word says that he will supply all of our need. His word says that he loves us beyond measure. 
And we know how we love our children, that you, there's, you know, we cannot even, there's no limit. When we love our children, there's no limit. We love them, but, and even more so, the love of God is even beyond that. Amen? Hallelujah. So we see all these negative things around us, and we can get caught off guard. I mean, we need to stay in our, you know, I just told uh, a friend yesterday, we need to stay in our lane. And I heard this wonderful illustration of staying in your own lane, in God's lane. And when we go out of our lane, just like when we drive, you know, on the roads, you have those, I don't even know what they call them, like you go out of your lane, you, you, your car shakes. If you go this way, you can, you can go on some rocks. If you go this way, you could hit a guard row. And that's to keep us safe. Those guardrails and those bumps on the road is to keep us in our own lane. And that's where we need to stay, in God's lane, not go outside of our lane. See, so if we stay in God's lane and not look at everything that's going on around us, everybody knows that you, you're, you should not look at anything else but the road when you're driving. You shouldn't look at the ocean. You shouldn't look at the whales. You shouldn't look at your phone. You shouldn't look at anything else except the road when you're driving. So a good illustration is for us to stay in God's lane, in God's zone, and not to go on the outside because it'll get us into trouble. It'll get us into areas where we shouldn't be. Our mind will go someplace else. Our focus will go someplace else. And that's not good for us right now. So we need to be careful that we don't allow those things on the outside to come inside and to get us distracted or take our focus off of where we should be. Amen? And um, it all boils down to fear. And we sometimes, when we start hearing all the negativity or we allow things to come into our mind that is not true. I mean, just today I, I, I ministered to somebody about anxiety. And anxiety really is, is a lie. When you start thinking of all of these kind of things that make you all you know, uh, upset and, and, you know, anxious and everything. That's a lie. It's a lie. And I remember feeling anxious one time, and everything that I was thinking was a lie. It wasn't true. My heart was okay. Hallelujah. I was okay. But when you get anxious and when you allow negativity to come into you, you start thinking about all kinds of things that's not even right. So anxiety is a lie. When you allow that to overtake you, and I'm not making light of it, I, I, I believe, I know that it can be very hard for some people. But if you stop and you think, all those things that you're thinking of when you're going through this is not right. It's a lie. So it boils down to fear. And we're living in a time that it's very easy to get fearful. We're living in a time where you cannot be with the people that you love. You cannot um, be in the normal places that you go to. Some people cannot go to work. Um, we can't be in the church. We can't be with those that we love, our, our, our church family. And so it can easily set into a place that we should not be in if we allow it. And it boils down to fear. Fear is not welcome here. So you say it too. When you start getting over them, you say, wait a minute, fear is not welcome here. Fear is not welcome in your home. Fear is not welcome in your area where you are, in your, wherever you are. Fear is not welcome. Fear is not welcome here. Fear is not welcome here. In the name of Jesus, fear is not welcome here. Hallelujah. Amen. The enemy is trying to catch you off guard. Just the other day, I started thinking about things that I, uh, you know, what, what, I heard in the, what I heard in the news. I started thinking about um, my parents. I started thinking about, you know, our lives. I started thinking about different things that got me into an area where I started feeling heavy. And um, I let it go on for a little bit. You know, uh, 10 minutes is too long, but I went on even longer than 10 minutes. I went, I, it was for a couple of hours where I allowed these things to come, you know, to come on me and 
there was such a heaviness on me. And then I remembered, hey, wait a minute. I'm God's daughter. And my father is God. And what did God say about it? He said, be not worried, be not troubled. He's with us. He is taking us through this. And even though right now, you know, we don't really understand when is it going to end? Um, how is it going to end? How, is it gonna how are people going to recover? How are businesses going to recover? And we can't figure all of that out. But we can trust God to know that our lives are in his hands. And he will never leave us or forsake us. He will supply all of our needs. He is our healer. He is our deliverer. Everything that we need, everything that we desire, everything that we need is in him. Amen? So the devil will try to catch you off guard. Remember, he has no rights. He has no rights. Fear has no rights. Negativity has no rights. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So then I remembered who I was. Okay, that's right. I'm a daughter of God. That's right. My father is God. And even though with my natural mind, I cannot understand what is going on, I can just lean into him knowing that he is going to take care of everything. Whatever I have to do, I will do, but he will take care of everything. Hallelujah. Right now, it is mandated that we need to have, you know, social distance. I mean, we can't, you know, you, you want to just hug on people and love on them, but you, okay, you know, there's a mandate that you can't, have, there has to be social distancing, you know, you cannot, you have to be six feet away from people when you're in the store. The, this agency is saying wear a mask, doctors are saying don't wear a mask, I mean, it's like, you know, so, um, but we have to we have to follow the rules, and um, but this is going to be over, and this will pass, and God will take us through it. Amen. Don't be discouraged. God will take us through it. Hallelujah. Let's go to Luke chapter ten. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We love you guys. We miss our church family. We're thankful that we can come to you this way, hallelujah, and um, to share the word, thank you, Jesus. So in Luke 10, chapter 10, verse 19, it reads here, look, I have given you authority over all the power of the enemy. See, God tells us again in his word that he has given us authority. So we have the authority to say, hey, negativity, you get out of here, and it has to go. Spirit of fear, you get out of here, and it has to go. Jesus gave us the authority, and they need to go. You tell the enemy to go, and he needs to go. And the word says it, hallelujah. We are not subject to the things of this world, Yes, we live in the world. So in other words, we need to follow the rules. We need to listen to what the government is saying. We need to do what we need to do. But we need to remember that we're not going to allow that negativity and all the heaviness of the world to come on us because we are not of this world. Even though we live in the world, we are not of this world. And what does that mean? That means we know that our lives are okay. They're in the palm of our Father's hand. We know that the Lord is going to take care of us. We know that everything is going to be all right. We know that even though we can't understand everything that's going on, we know that God knows what's going on. And he says that he will not leave us. That means he will not leave us. He says he will not forsake us. That means he will not forsake us. So even though we live in the world and we're subject to some of the, you know, the things we, we can't, you know, we can't go here, we can't, go to the beach, I mean, we can't go to the movies, we can't, you know, we can't fellowship, we can't do all of these things, we're subject to that, but we also have to remember that we are God's children, and we, we are not of this world, hallelujah, amen, thank you, Jesus, hallelujah, 
we need to stay in, in the love of God. And God's perfect love will flow in us and through us into this world that needs to know about God, needs to know about Jesus. And God's perfect love will expel all fear. It needs to go. Fear needs to go. And that is not for us. Don't be concerned what is happening on you know what's going on around us. Yes, we have to, you know, we 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 listen to what's going on, we understand what's going on, but we are not gonna let it overtake us or overwhelm us. Amen. Hallelujah. Sometimes we need to tell our minds to shut up because sometimes our minds need to shut up and just stop and just say, wait a minute, I am, that is a lie, I'm not going to listen to that, I'm not going to allow this negativity to overtake me. I am going to trust God and I'm going to trust that his perfect love is going to take care of us and his perfect love is going to get rid of all fear. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What does his word say? God heals us. God delivers us. God loves us. God um, takes care of us. So when these things and when negativity tries to come in, you just stop it. You say, oh no, God says that he loves me. God says that he takes care of me. God says that all of my needs will be met. Even though it might be a little bit hard right now, God is going to take care of everything. And his perfect love that flows in you is going to expel all the fear. Hallelujah. Let's go to Philippians 8. Uh, excuse me, Philippians 4, 8. Hallelujah. Philippians 4, 8. And we know this is a familiar scripture to all of us, but let me just go ahead and read it. And now, dear brothers and sisters, one final thing. Fix your thoughts on what is true and honorable and right and pure and lovely and admirable. Think about things that are excellent and worthy of praise. Hallelujah. So don't allow all those other things to grab hold of you. Think on these things. Think on the things of God. Think on what God says. Think that, remember that God loves you and he wants the best for you. God's, God loves your family, and he wants the best for them. Think on those things that God is not going to leave you in this craziness going on. God has a plan, and even though we may not know what the plan is, his plan is a good plan. And perfect love, the perfect love of God expels all fear. So whenever something tries to come on, come on you, you say, Fear you are not welcome here. And the perfect love of God casts out all fear in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Remember that. Don't allow the negativity around you to control you. Amen. Trust in God, knowing that his love is perfect and his love will cast out all that fear. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Well, you know, today is the day of salvation. And if you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, today is your blessed day. And so I would like to lead you in a prayer. It's not, it's not um, this big thing where you have to join a big club or anything. It's simply asking Jesus into your heart to be the Lord of your life. And that will be the best decision that you have ever made. Um, please uh, join me in this prayer. Father, forgive me for all the wrong that I have done. Jesus, come into my heart and be the Lord of my life. Help me to be all that you have called me to be. In Jesus' name. If you just said that prayer, please call us or you know, leave us an email or, or, or contact us. We'd love to um, talk to you. We'd love to encourage you and help you get into a spirit-filled church when we can all go to church again. We love you. We thank you for joining us tonight. Um, please let us know if you did. Um, go to, the, to that wonderful prayer. It's going to change your life. Hallelujah. Also, if you want to sow a seed into good ground, just go ahead and click that button. We love you. We thank God for you. Have a blessed night. God bless you. Mwah.